He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. shit but count somebody out which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass yeah and you got one round knock the fucker on his ass knock the fuck on his ass Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Yeah, easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! Here we go. So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Cuban, Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. There you go! See, he's got his solid, great combination. He is down on the man. One, two, three, four! Savone's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Blocks that punch. Andre Bishop. And bang, and away he goes. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? How about that? What a big win for Andre Bishop. He is able to knock out the nine-time defending gold medalist, Joel Savone. You can already imagine what's going to be said about Andre Bishop as he launches his... Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. Gold medal, baby. Yeah. 
Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, bishop brothers are in the house, big baby bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. kid you got your father's power he certainly does his father hit like a heavyweight too <laughs> Gus <laughs> despite our differences I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business I don't care what you say about me Queen <laughs> always nice to see you Megan always nice to see you too Gus I'm bringing my daughter into the business you know how good she is with fighters I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you were good at But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Paula. She's a smart girl, that Megan. What a night of boxing here at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. So much to talk about tonight on this card. The thing that interests me, and so many of you out there, is the pro debut of Andre Bishop. The much-talked-about middleweight prospect will be debuting against Lucius Palmer, a veteran who looks to give him a test. Stay on the outside! ...by Andre Bishop. Lucius Palmer's match. Solid. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? And Andre Bishop proves to everyone why there is so much hype to the start of his pro career. A knockout win against the veteran Lucius Palmer. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. 
Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. And Andre Bishop, solid right by Walker. Did you see that? Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going. At 2-0, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has ours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. Gets rid of that downstairs. Rosario's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. He's showing what is. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. Then I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes is entitled to his own opinion, isn't he? We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall for the East Coast debut of the young upstart Andre Bishop. Tonight, the 3-0 middleweight will be taking on the hard-hitting Keyshawn Hayes. Joe this guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. for six. Yeah. Nice. Big uppercut right on the mark. Oh, and there you go. 
go. And he goes down for the first time tonight. Down, but not out. Bishop gets up on his feet. Right now, what he has to do is he has to kill a little bit of time. He's got to move his head. He's got to be defensive-minded, clear those cobwebs a little bit, then think about winning the round later. Hayes is going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Andre Bishop unable to get out of the way of that big hook by Hayes. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Here we go with the fourth round. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Targeting. Wow! Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Andre Bishop gives Keyshawn Hayes a taste of his own medicine. The big hitter was hit hard. A knockout victory for Bishop. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not going to be your night. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for a much-anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop is a hot rising prospect. Will Bishop shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now have prepared him for this moment. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be. Oh, he gets hit by the left hand that he had no clue on. Teddy, I think he's going to. Oh, that's got to hurt. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Yeah! 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. I 
thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trained. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Everybody up! Cell block D, get up! Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one on one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. I'm fighting until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. Signing with DL McQueen. <laughs> no way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you. I to ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head.
motherfucker. This shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight. He ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, hotter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you mean? Raymond, get out of the ring.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. You needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. See me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. Uh. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessator, alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza, here in Mexico City, for our main event. Six rounds among heavyweights, Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. A good two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Solid left hand to the head. Job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Chavez. Oh! How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitor, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza. I'm alongside Teddy Atlas here ringside for heavyweight action tonight. The American Andre Bishop taking on the veteran Mexican Raul Castillo. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. 
Bishop's right hand scores well that time. So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Castillo's got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. This has been a sublime performance by Andre Bishop. He has been in control all night long as we're in the final round now. And this is where you want to keep your concentration. You don't want to slip up now on the way to the bank. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving. Keep moving. Andre Bishop is using his legs as a form of defense now against Castillo. He's moving on the outside, just staying away from those body shots. <laughs> seconds to go in the fight good block by Andre Bishop that time he'd like to see more of that okay get your hands up you see him holding on feet. final minute of the final round he's tired and he's just not engaging in the fight he clinches again Keep moving. Keep Castillo's moving. putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Castillo. We said it early on, stylistically with this matchup, hardly a chance that we would go to the judges' scorecards, but Teddy, that's exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, early on, you're right, it looked like it was going to be an explosion, but pulls it out a little bit. Here we are. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. <sighs> Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. Well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? He's my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Teddy, this will be very interesting to see if Andre Bishop is favoring that right hand because our video evidence clearly showed that he hurt that right hand but the hand that you use probably 80 
90% of the time is the left hand. That's the lead hand, that's the setup hand. That's the jabbing hand. His corner needs to tell him now there's nothing wrong with that hand. Go out there and behave like a fighter. Go out there and win the fight. And Andre Bishop now a sell. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Well targeted combination by Andre Bishop. Good flush, straight left hand. Scored well up top. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? It's your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Ted. At this point, Andre Bishop can just put it into cruise control. Yeah, they have that choice. They could go into the prevent defense and coast home, or they know the business, and Gus knows the business. They want to be an attraction. He could say, go out there and finish. Make people talk about you when they're leaving this arena. Boy, that's a good uppercut by Rich. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. Big shot. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them, well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now, and he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. From the Thomas and Mack Center here in Las Vegas, we present heavyweight action. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you as Andre Bishop looks to stay perfect as he faces Dwight Cooper. There's Cooper. Dwight Cooper landed flush and trouble for Andre Bishop as you can see the start of a cut over that right eye. He's in a bad spot to right the corner where it could run right into the eye and pair his vision. Teddy, you see that cut right there? When you're in a spot like that, do you tell your charge, hey, go after it, worsen that cut? No, actually, I don't, because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with. Just keep doing those things right, setting it up. If you look for only that, you forget the things that got you there. A good block. Cooper trying to get away from Bishop's attack. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Andre Bishop. Showing you some defense there with the block. Now hugging on the inside. Did you see that? He just went down. The infighter went out. And now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes. Now a 
up, he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Guard up! So there's the final bell in a fight nobody thought they'd hear the final bell in. Uh, it looked like Rock'em Sock'em Robots early on, but then all of a sudden, guess what? They started boxing. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top ten. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City for our heavyweight main event. Top 10 ranked Kobe Nichols against Andre, Andre Bishop and his tournament Gus are just disgusted by that. That seems like a legal body shot, but yet the ref is deducting a point for a low blow. And clicks of the talk. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. The shots were low, Gus. I know, kid. I know. McQueen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. Stay upstairs. Here we go. Round two is underway. Watch the low blow. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Boy, unable to get away from those punches. There it is! There he goes! He goes down from that headshot. One, two, three, four, five! Nichols is showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Why he got dropped to begin with? Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Andre Bishop. Look at that combination by Nichols. Nichols is not looking so solid on his feet, and he's clinching. That's a big shot. Oh, and there you go. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Thanks to some poor refereeing, Andre Bishop straight away from the body shots. Still, he was able to earn the knockout victory against Kobe Nichols. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother, but I remind you this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... That's my brother. You owe me the chance to prove myself.
All right, Kenny, back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. So here we go. We welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas for one of the more unique and much anticipated heavyweight fight. Brother against brother now plays out in a heavyweight eliminator as the older brother, Andre Bishop, faces his younger brother, Raymond Bishop. These men have been estranged and at odds with each other. Now they settle it opposite each other in the ring. Let's do some more head movement. Andre Bishop is in a bad spot right now. He is damaged. If I'm Bishop, I clinch. I tie up. I just hug that big tree off to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Good looking uppercut that time. Three minutes gone by in this round. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there. I mean, let's pick it up, okay? He might be a little brother, but he's got a big punch. Now, he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Start of a new round. Bishop's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast. That's a big oh wash. Oh! Down goes Andre Bishop. One. You out, big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. Good evening, everybody, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, where the challenger, Raymond Bishop, will step up for the ultimate test, taking on the world champion, the pure power punching intimidator, Isaac Frost. Joe Bishop's mind has to be in Zaire, Africa. He has to duplicate what Ali did on that night many years ago against the intimidator, the biggest, stronger George Foreman. He has outboxed him. Bishop's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. That was a big, big shot he just scored with. Raymond Bishop's unable to withstand that combination. That's what happens when you cover a little slow. Baby Bishop, Raymond Bishop trying to get up and continue on. situation has developed hey. here. The paramedics man, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. 
Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you, let, let me do this. Listen, I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. Now we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce DL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for this heavyweight championship fight. Tonight, from the NGM Grand on the Vegas Strip, heavyweight champion Isaac Frost looks to defend his belt against Andre Bishop. Of course, Andre Bishop, once a middleweight prospect, the much smaller man now has a comebacking heavyweight, but he is full of revenge, looking to avenge his brother Raymond's loss to Isaac Cross. Teddy, emotions running high. Emotions that must be controlled. You know, you want to get after somebody, you think about boxing, you think about maybe getting angry, going and hitting what you're angry at. You get angry in this business, you get hit more. So it's going to be the job of Bishop and his people to make sure they control those emotions all night long. Frost making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step.
Corner, the reigning, defending, heavyweight champion of the world, Isaac Frost. Okay, this is good. This is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That was a little random, though. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a friggin' animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid! This guy's a friggin' animal! You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet, keep your hands up, stick around for a couple of rounds, and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. Anticipated round one. Keep in mind what happened the last time Isaac Frost was in the ring with a bishop. That was baby bishop, Andre's brother. Now Andre seeks to avenge that brutal beating of his brother. Another thudding shot by Isaac Frost, this time the left hand. Isaac Frost continues to hit that cut eye of Andre Bishop. The ref has taken a look. He hey, quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah, still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. is underway. Isaac Frost refreshed. You can just see it in him. Solid left hand to the head. Well placed hook there. A little head hunting with the right. Andre Bishop looking good right here. Andre Bishop is now consistently laying big flush shot. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world. And his name is Andre. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. King. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Hey. We had a deal. You gave me your word. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Deal! 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 